First is on the question of disbursements. As of 9th January 2024, which is today, no single constituency has received a single cent of the NGCDF funds. None of us here have received no single members of member of parliament. Um, by now, CDF allocation should be 35 percent of the on bursaries should be 35 percent of the CDF allocation, which translates to about 18.5 billion. No single cent has been dispersed in this respect, with the consequence that there are many pupils and students who are stranded all over this country. As we speak, CDF allocation for the year should be 63 billion shillings. Because we are in the third quarter, by now we should have received at least 75% of this money, which translates to just about 46 billion. To date, as of this date, no single amount has been received, despite all sorts of utterances that you may have heard elsewhere. So these false statements lead citizens to think that MPs have received money and they are sitting on it. We want to make it clear that we have not received it, and we urge the government to immediately release this entire amount of CDS allocation uh, that we ought to have received. Um, it is also important to note that by last year, through our speaker, the government gave commitment that CDF funds will have been fully released by 20th of December. And there was a, an official communication by our speaker to that effect. It is clear that they, mis they misled our speaker, they misled the National Assembly, and they misled the people. And that's unfortunate. Secondly, there's a CDF memo dated 4th January 2024. And uh, members of the press might be aware of this. This CDF memo was directed to all CDF account managers countrywide. It was directing them that money cannot be released because there were certain amendments to the CDF Act, as a result of which they were supposed to recall the proposals that they had made and redo it and resubmit it. We want to say categorically that in our opinion, that memo is misguided, it's unlawful, and it is improper, and it must be withdrawn. The first reason is, yes, there were certain amendments to the CDF Act towards the end of last year, actually in the months of November going to December. Those amendments essentially affected only two things. They affected the question of sports and the question of the constituency oversight committee. In our opinion, the material date that must be applied is 1st July 2023, when the financial year begins. And the law as at that date is the law that must apply to CDF until we get to 1st July 2024. As of that date, there were no amendments. So to issue a memo purporting you cannot issue CDF funds because of amendments in December 2023 is mischievous, is misleading, and it's unlawful. In any event, that would amount to what in law we call retroactivity. No law ever operates behind. It operates going forward. And if it's to cover, operate behind, it must be expressly stated. The amendments and the act does not purport to say that they will take effect from 1st July 2023. Secondly, even if that argument was to be believed, those amendments only affect sports and the constituency oversight committee, which is just about six or so percent of the overall allocation of CDF. If that was true, they'd have released the 94 percent of CDF and indicated that they will withhold the six percent pending adjustment. They cannot withhold or return the entire proposal on that account. Thirdly and lastly, if that argument was true, then it would mean they cannot disperse any money. How then is it that we are getting statements saying they have disbursed certain amounts of money? Either you can disperse or you cannot disperse. You cannot say I cannot disperse, then on the other hand you say I have disbursed a certain amount of money. So our position is clear that that memo must be withdrawn. The CDF funds must be released. Way forward. As a bipartisan team comprising all members of the House from both sides, we demand that the entire allocation of CDF must be released within seven days as is due. And if that is not done, we will call for a special sitting of the House. When we call for a special sitting, secondly, we will then draft appropriate motions against the CS Treasury and against the CDF Board 
or any such other entity as we may determine at the time. Thank you. Do you want to summarize? Thank you.